guys, today I have another really cool Polly Pocket find. I used to love Polly Pocket, and I'm so excited to see her coming back on the market. This time, can you see that? It is snowing. Look, she's wearing a little snowsuit. So this is Fun Activities, and it says Tiny is Mighty. It does have the YouTube Kids on the back, so we do know this is one of the new ones. But that's okay. It's still Polly Pocket. And these are the ones that open and close. So similar to the one that we did in the last video with the dog, this one is square. I want to see and compare the Pollys to see if I can change the characters around so that maybe the snowsuit one is visiting the dog and the, the dog spa. And I really just want to open this up and have her riding on the snowmobile. And I think this is going sledding. So let's get right into this and open this up. Now I got these at Dollarama, which is $5 and less. So very similar to Five Below in the United States. But look at how cute it is. And it is authentic Polly Pocket. So let's get right into this. I, okay, I did not open it right again. I have issues with opening packaging. Here we go. Oh, we're going to lose the cool background. That's okay. Let's get everything out. The little heart is stuck. Oh, there is our Polly Pocket. And I can tell right off I'm not going to be able to switch the characters. Her feet are solid. And if we look at this one, she has the little holes so that she can connect to things. And this one's really Look, she's rubbery. Oh, that is cool. Look at that. Whereas her legs are stiff. So those are some really big differences. Are they the same height? They are the same little height. Look at how cute. I really, really like that she's rubbery. It's like a fidget. I like that. Okay, so let's put this one back and we'll focus on this one for now. So the first thing we need to do is put her hook on. How did I hook the hook on the last one? Okay, through this little part here. So let's get our travel hook on. These are great because you can take these with you, connect them to your backpack, and that way, no matter where you are, you have a little doll to play with. I love Polly Pocket just for that. So now let's open this up. Let's bring it up so you can see it. It's nice and purple. It's got the nice little same little logo there. The nice raised Polly Pocket. And when you open it, there is a little bunny. Does this move? Oh, it moves. So she can sit and go back and forth. Does this come out? Does this come? Oh, it comes out. So there is the nice little background with the trees and the ice. And here is her going down the hill. I mean, okay, prop it up and then she can go down the hill. If not, it's kind of flat. And then this pops out. Okay, let's put this back in here for now. Can I get it back in? You know what? I have always struggled. Oh, it moves up and down. Okay, let's get our Polly with her little rubbery legs and see if we can get her. Uh -huh. Okay, let's take it out and see if we can get her in here. Maybe this is why she has rubbery legs. Okay. Oh. Uh huh. Okay, well, she is sort of in. She looks like she's laying down. Can I squish her back? No. Oh, she just flew right out. Okay, so I can't get her. Oh, there we go. Push hard. And then she can go snowmobiling. Look at that. Now let's put it back inside. So you got to press really, really hard to get her in there. Oh, goodness. Okay, there we go. There. And now she can go sledding and snowmobiling. Hopefully she doesn't hit the trees or the ice doesn't hit her in the head. She's already popping out. Oh, Polly. Okay. Let's try her on the bottom one. Does the bunny? No, bunny doesn't move. Now, same thing. She's got her rubbery legs. Oh, she fits so much better in this one. Look at that. She's not even going to fall out. That is 
Oh, perfect. Now her legs look a little, but that's okay. Now, can she slide? It's a little stiff. It's okay. It's a little stiff. And she goes up and down. Oh, too cute. It's too cute. Now let's bring this one back. And I want to see if I can get this Polly to fit in any of these accessories or these little rides. Now I know this one. Oh, she won't even stand up on her own because there she goes. Okay, so she can play with the puppy and she can open up the house. There it goes. And maybe play with the dog, but she won't be able to stand on any of the other things like this Polly could. So now let's try this Polly in the snow house to see, or the, the snow play set to see if they're interchangeable because the really cool thing to do is have, or to have more fun really, is to have two of these on your backpack or your bag. That way you can play with a friend. You can both have one or you have two dolls and two scenes to play with. Now this one, if we remember her legs move, so she should be able to sit. Now why they didn't make her with legs that can sit, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, look, she fits in that without falling out. I don't know why they did rubbery legs because she can still slide back and forth. She has the rubbery hair. So she can still slide back and forth. Now let's try her in this one. I'm gonna have to pop this one out. My fingers are just too big. Can we get her to sit in the little snow? Oh, perfect. Oh, why didn't they just do a normal hard-legged Polly? Look. Now can she go back in? And she can just ride her snowmobile. Oh, that's so great. Now you can also have her just sitting down. She could go past the dollhouse. The, the doll. The doghouse. And this little Polly can visit her. These are... I love them. And for under $5... Oh, let me put it so you can see. Sorry. For under $5, these are just the greatest travel toys. I'm so glad that I have two of them now. You let me know in the comments, do you have either set, the little snow set or the puppy spa? What Polly Pocket sets do you have? Oh, I just crushed our new little Polly Pocket. Oh, I'm sorry. She's just so cute. I just, I really wish she had not so wobbly legs and her arms don't move at all. No, they don't. Whereas, let's take this one. I don't remember. Did her arms move? Yeah, her arms moved up and down. Her arms went up and down. And this one's just a jelly body with a hard head. Whereas she has a soft, squishy head and a hard body. I don't know, guys. Which one do you prefer? The soft or the hard one? I think I like this one better because I can move her. She can stand up more freely. But I love, I love the outfit on the new one that came with the winter set. I don't know. I just, I love them. Let's put them back and we'll put their accessories away and we'll see how well they store. So maybe because there's not a lot of space in this one. Would have been nice if this little bunny moved like the dog in the other one. So let's clip it. Ready to hang on your bag. Look how cute your bag would be with two of these. Just hanging together. Oh, that one's not even closed all the way. Hold on. Got to put the dog house back properly. There we go. Whoops. Now, just imagine having these on your bag or some are small when you're going on a trip and you'll have two little things to play with. And aren't they cute? They remind me of little compacts. And I just noticed because it's snow and ice, this one is the see-through. Really pretty. Can we open it? And it opens nice. Okay, so this one is definitely easier to open and close than the original one that we found. This one was a little stiff. But I've got to find more of these. I just absolutely love Polly Pocket. You let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite. Because I can't.
can't decide. I like the fact that the animal one has the dog that moves in the dog house, but I really like this one for her outfit. You let me know. That's it for today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.